G'day, this is my Memtech MTX500 and I'm just going to try loading some of the included software because it actually came with five games on cassette um, from shoot 'em up type games to adventure games and we're going to try loading Blobbo and I'm using my faithful Radio Shack data cassette or data recorder which is just basically just a normal cassette player that's been optimized apparently for data. Now, just entered in the load command. We've hit play. Okay, it's located the Blobo program and it's, you can actually hear the cassette audio, which is the analog signal that's been converted into a digital signal. On my computer. Okay, I'll just mute that and I'll just get back to you once the game's loaded. Yes, these are a beautiful machine. It's in a solid aluminium case. This machine has a Z80, I believe, running at 4 megahertz, and it has 32k of RAM, but it is possible to expand it to 128K, which is something I might consider doing. It also has the ability of running CPM. Okay, it's actually loaded the program. Okay, I have no idea how to play it. Oh, okay, it's uh, it looks like it's a clone of Pac-Man. Now, uh-oh, okay. Oh no. <laughs> okay, I wonder if it has any audio. Let's turn the audio on. Oh, it does. A bit difficult to uh, hold my phone and the joystick at the same time. <laughs> okay, that's Bobbo. Um, yeah, it looks like it's a Pac Man clone, and that was very poor on my behalf. Okay. Uh oh, oh no! Okay, oh now I've turned it. Oh, I've turned into a spider. Oh bugger! <laughs> okay, well, this is quite cute. Oh, watch out! Oh no! Go go go! Oh, oh bugger! <laughs> okay, it's very hard to film using one hand, and I'm just using a generic um, Atari compatible joystick. It's just a nine pin. Joystick. Okay, then you use on a an Atari or a Commodore 64. That is really cool. Okay, I've got a lot to learn about this machine. Um, I think it's a, a nice piece of computing history. I believe that these were a commercial failure. Uh, but what a beautifully made machine. I'm actually very impressed with the build quality. And this machine's been in storage for 40 years and I've taken it out of the box and it just actually boots up. I also have the basic tutorial reference manual, which is quite comprehensive. It's got lots of sample code in it and it's wonderful having these five cassettes with some games on them. Uh, this machine also does have a ROM cartridge and there are a few projects for building your own money modern multi-rom cart which is something i might look at it sometime in the future and there are some memory expansions available and this machine can support two rs232 ports and it also has the ability to run cpm with the expanded memory Okay, well, that was a very, very quick look and my first attempt at running a game and the game that we chose was Blobbo. <laughs> okay, well, I hope someone finds this interesting and thanks for watching. Okay, catch you next time.